No, he's not. Take your fingers away from the keyboard and stop typing out your aggressive, angry, hateful comments towards me. Because this video isn't really going to go out there and say, hey, this is a prospect that you should not feel as excited about as you do. I recognize that there are a lot of people that watch these videos and comment in the comment section and contribute to discussions in a very normal, rational, and easy to understand type of way. But that doesn't change the fact that elsewhere along the internet, you'll find places all over social media talking about players, talking about prospects, and overrating certain individuals. Let's go over to Montreal and talk about a prospect that has been a pretty good one the past few seasons, but also go over the idea as to whether or not some Canadians fans out there overrate this guy. So, today's target is Cade... Okay, not target. That makes it sound like we're going out there and maliciously going after the guy or something. We're talking about Caden Gooley, Montreal Canadiens defenseman prospect. Going over the profile over here, he's 20 years old. January 18th, 2002 is the birth date. 6'2", 201 as a left-handed defenseman. He was drafted 16th overall by the team in 2020. And when it comes to Caden Gooley, what you'll notice about his overall profile is that he's a pretty big dude that is pretty good at playing a defensively sound game. Combined with this, the extended point production that he had this previous season in the WHL, where, playing for the Oil Kings, he was a point-per-game defenseman in the regular season and a point-per-game defenseman in the playoffs, where he was an absolute monster as well. He really grew from what he had been in his earlier seasons in 2019-20, where he was a pretty offensively capable defenseman, but who also had a few inconsistencies in terms of transitioning the puck forward and making proper reads to break out of his own zone. He was good enough at shutting down the play and making very good positional moves to counteract the opposing forwards, but when it came to how he would transition from his end to the offensive end, there were a few question marks at how a lot of scouts saying, okay, he's really got to have to work on that, maybe there could be a little bit more maturity there in his game, but I feel like two years down the line, it's safe to say that Caden Gooley has grown tremendously in that respect. The defensively sound parts of his game are still intact, he has started to learn the transition game a lot better, and he's producing more too. This has led to a whole bunch of Canadians fans talking about Caden Gooley as a potential stud for this team. And I think a lot of people would say that when it comes to the defensive prospects the Habs have, Caden Gooley is probably amongst the top there. The scouting report on Elite Prospects says that Gooley is an absolute menace when he is on. He's constantly moving his feet and closes with such speed and force that he regularly dispossesses his opponent of the puck right at the defensive blue line. Gooley creates by activating off the rush or joining the second wave of the attack. That is where his strengths lie. Now, there is a lot to like about Caden Gooley. But, when it comes to Montreal Canadiens fans, let's talk about the idea as to whether or not some Habs fans are overrating Gooley to the point that it actually is noteworthy. Now, the reason I'm bringing this up is because we actually had ourselves two Reddit posts, one made on the Canadian subreddit and one made on the R Hockey subreddit, wherein Caden Gooley's name actually gets brought up quite a bit. Just to give a more general idea, let's go over onto the R Hockey post made a few days ago, or was it two days ago? Something like that. Thanks for your help, y'all, posted this on the R Hockey sub. Which prospect do you feel will unfortunately not live up to your fanbase and media's hype? If you do a control F and you search for Ghoulie, you'll find a comment from Montreal97 saying, I mean, the Habs have a super easy pick, but I'll go in a different direction. I have a feeling that Caden Ghoulie will not be nearly as good as we are expecting. A reply here from Dusty Sporn Alt says that personally, they're pretty high on Caden Gooley. I think he's their best D prospect by a lot, but you could be right though. Some think he is the next Weber, but I think he's going to end up somewhere halfway between Edmondson and Weber. Furthermore, you had yourselves this post made on the Canadian subreddit by Defector Antal. Does Caden Gooley have that much potential? Question mark. Don't get me wrong, I don't think anything negative about him and I wish him the best, but I feel like our fanbase is overhyping him a little too much and it could backfire. The fact is, this Reddit post had a 79% upvote ratio, meaning that there are some Canadians fans that happen to agree. And the top comment, Man Without Country, says this, Potential and success are not really related. You could have all the potential in the world and still amount to nothing. Just ask my parents. Now, okay, we're not gonna further analyze that comment. 
Thank you, though, for giving us a good laugh, Man Without Country. But when it comes to Kate and Gooley, there are a lot of people going out there in the comments and debating, okay, his offensive potential, the defensive capabilities, there's a lot to like with his defensive side. That's why he was drafted so high in the first place. A lot of people are going to put a lot of expectation on the points that he had at the World Juniors, or not the World Juniors, excuse me, the Memorial Cup, etc., etc. And then there are others that are a little bit more rational. I like this comment here from Doge Meow 91 If Gooley turns out to be a number three reliable defenseman who puts up 25 to 40 points, I'll be very happy. He doesn't always have to be a flashy player for it to be a draft success. There are some other comments here talking about whether or not he plays like Weber and everything, and I guess that's like the main stylistic comparable you could make because when it comes to Shea Weber, the guy was, if you take away the slap shot offensive capabilities and everything, just an absolute rock. Like, he was so good in his own zone, so defensively sound, he was so calm and poised under pressure, that if Caden Gooley is a guy that's cut from the same cloth, I think you're looking at a pretty good pickup, especially at 16th overall. The difference is, though, Shea Weber was making millions and millions of dollars, he had a bomb of a slap shot, and he was one of the better shooters amongst defensemen in the entire league for a good portion of the late 2000s, early 2010s. Caden Gooley, unfortunately, I don't think he's going to have that type of an offensive ceiling, but he could be that much of a rock in the back end, too. I think I'm more of the opinion that if Caden Gooley ends up becoming a top two defenseman, it's not going to be because he is a top two defenseman caliber talent. It's going to be because he's a player playing 25 minutes a night, which happens to be placed in the top pairing because he's so good defensively and as a shutdown guy that the Canadians can afford to play him that much. And by virtue of ice time, he would be considered a top two defenseman, just not necessarily in the same way that I think you would think of when you think of that label. Now, is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. You can let me know in the comments what do you think about Caden Gooley and what I think of this player. But if he ends up becoming a guy that maxes out at like 40, 50, 55 points in a season, I think you're laughing. Like, I honestly do think that Caden Gooley's point production isn't going to be at the same point per game WHL territory that we saw out of him this previous year. And anybody going out there and saying that Caden Gooley is a bona fide number one defenseman prospect, I'm a lot more inclined to believing that there is some sort of an overhyping going on because when it comes to... Twitter, Instagram, Canadian fans, etc. You know how Canadians fans go. The question here on the R Hockey sub was, which prospect do you think your fan base will overhype? And one of the top comments says that Montreal overhypes everybody. So it's a little bit difficult to nail down exactly who it is from Montreal that's the most overhyped. But Caden Gooley might be seen as that guy because a lot of people saw Sherratt, Edmondson, and Weber in the postseason two years ago, or last year, excuse me, and they're like, yeah, Caden Gooley can be like that. Maybe next season he could come in, make the team, and he'll be like that. If we lose out on Edmondson, then that's okay because we got Gooley. And then you have to remember that Caden Gooley is only 20 years old, and a lot of these players, especially ones that play defensive-style hockey like these guys, Edmondson, Sherratt, Weber, etc., they won't really be as good as you want them to be at the ages of 20, 21, heck, even 22 or 23. It takes a while for these guys that are a lot more defensively sound to break and become solid 20-plus minute defenders at the NHL level. Not everybody can go out there and just become amazing. And so for Caden Gooley, even though there might be some fans out there, here, there, wherever, that could be overhyping the guy, I don't want to go out there and say for sure that he is absolutely not going to show up, he's going to be a bust, he's going to be this, he's going to be that. Like, I'm not going to go out there and rain on the guy's parade. But I don't think he will be a solidified top two, number one, bona fide caliber defender within the next two years where he makes the Canadians, because I don't really think that type of path for this style of player is all too realistic. If anything, if he becomes a mainstay top four guy, produces, let's say, 20 points on a year. 20 points consistently, year in, year out, as a member of the Canadians until he hits his prime in 2026, 2027 maybe, and he produces maybe a 30-40 point year, and he's absolutely on lock as a defensive-minded defender. I think that's probably the best case scenario. Now, if he does better than that, amazing. Like, I'm not going to go out there and tell him to not produce more than I want him to, but that's just kind of my framework for where I see Caden Gooley going in the future. You can let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Where do you see Caden Gooley in terms of the Montreal Canadiens future, and what do you think about him and his reputation amongst the fan base today? Do you think there are some Canadians fans that are going to go out there and overhype this guy? I'd like to think that when it comes to Canadians fans in my comment section, y'all are for the most part pretty rational when it comes to analyzing the potential and progression of prospects. I don't really see too much hyperbole going on in our comment section like I do in other comment sections and other threads on social media, etc. So 
You can let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about Caden Gooley, Montreal Canadiens 2020 drafted prospect, 16th overall. How good is he going to be? What's his ceiling? What's his prime? What is the profile of this guy in your eyes? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Rolls the 99. And bye. <laughs>